So let's get Blender installed. Um, remember, most of the testing for the OPCD tools, almost all of it actually, has been done on 331. Um, I think there's a really good possibility that 332, 332, 333, 4, and 5 probably all work. Um, however, if you want to be safe, um, I would install 331. However, if you do install one of the later versions um, and it works fine, please uh, let us know on Discord. There's also a brand new version of 3.5 that came out. Um, I would avoid that for now. Um, well, I don't know. If you're adventurous, you want to try it, go ahead. You can actually install multiple versions of Blender. So you could install 3.3.1. You could install 3.3.5, and they can all work separately. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but first things first, we need to go to uh, Blender. How do we do that? Well, you go to blender.org. Uh, so in your browser, go to blender.org. You're going to go to download. And you can see here, here's the latest and greatest 3.5. Um, if you want to be brave um, and do that, it probably works fine. But again, I have no way of knowing. Let us know if it works or not. We're going to go up here to long-term support if we want to do the safe thing. And uh, where is it? Blender 3.3 LTS is here, here at the top. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to scroll down here to Blender 3.3.1 LTS and I can do download Windows installer. So I click on this and then it downloads. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to find it in my downloads folder right here and double click and it will start. So I'm gonna double click on this guy. Actually, I think I already did, I have it open. Here it is. Um, welcome to Blender Setup, hit next. Um, you're gonna accept the license agreement. Now at this point, you have uh, want to make a decision on where to install. Now for me, I've got a C drive and I got a D drive, so I've been in, uh, installing a lot of my stuff on my D drive. So I'm going to go here to my D drive, and I know I'll go program files, and let me show you. I already have Blender 2.83 installed because that's what we use in the old version of the OPC tool. So if I come in here and you see, I've got Blender 2.83. So what I could do is I could create a new folder in here. I'm going to call it Blender 3.3.1. Enter. And you can see now I'm going to install it there, and I can actually keep my 2.83. I can have 3.31 uh, running as well. Um, and I could install like 3.5 if I want if I want to play with that. I'm just going to hit OK here. Everything looks good. We're just going to accept the defaults here. Um, here I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to hit next, click install, and it's going to have a pop up that says, Are you sure you want to allow this app to make changes? I'm going to hit yes, and then it's going to install. Let's see how long this is going to take. I might pause the video here. Now it's going to uh, say done, finish, and then we are ready to go. Now, if you have multiple versions of Blender installed, for instance, this is my shortcut to 2.83, and if you're installing multiple versions, you have to make sure you got to know which one you're starting. So I know that this one is linked. Actually, if I go to uh, my properties here of my desktop version. No, it changed it. So this one is actually point. So it put a shortcut on my desktop and it is pointing to 3.31. So what I did is I right clicked on it and went to properties. And you can see that this one's pointing to 3.31. I'm pretty sure if I click on this one. It opened up on another screen, but yeah, the one I'm down here, my start bar is opening 2.83. So you can run multiple versions, no problem. Let me open up the one that was added to my desktop. So we got 3.31 that opens. It's booting up on another screen, then I'll move it over. There we go. And you can see that when this one boots up, uh, you guys missed the splash. There it is. It says 331 here. So just make sure you know what version you're working in. Um, and that splash screen, if you're unsure, I think you can start it again up here. So 331. So last thing we need to do is now that we've got Blender open, go up here to File. Oops. Go to Edit, Preferences. And we need to install two plugins. And we can do a search here for, let's do Mesh. Actually, let's do, sorry, edit, E-D-I-T. We need to add this mesh, edit mesh tools right here. So I'm just going to click this box, and then that adds it. And we're going to do loop, mesh loop tools. I'm going to add that. So those are two tools that are used by the scripts. Those are added. We can close this. 
and essentially we got Blender installed at this point. 